It spans sitting or lying on sidewalks in commercial zones between the hours of 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. A previous sit lie ordinance was in effect a few years ago, but it expired in 2016. Dealing with the homeless population is one of the top issues the new Chico City Council will face when they begin December 4th, specifically how to implement the sit lie ordinance. Action News Now reporter Laura Ang spoke with Casey Reynolds and Alex Brown about that very issue. Laura, what did they have to say? Lauren Reynolds and Brown have opposing views when it comes to the sit lie ordinance. Brown and Reynolds are the leading candidates in the city council race. The results are not certified yet. There are still thousands of ballots to be counted, and this includes provisional and late vote by mail ballots. I asked the leading candidates to explain their stance on sit lie. I think it's a good decision. I mean, I People need to be able to get into the businesses between 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. That's when businesses are open. Um, if the sidewalks are blocked, people can't come to businesses. Businesses are what create tax revenue that comes and takes care of all the services for the city. So we need to do whatever we can to support our business members. We've tried this and it doesn't work. We have data that illustrates clearly that ordinances like sit and lie are ineffective in addressing what they set out to address. I'm excited to sit on the council and look at the data and what it says about addressing homelessness long term um, and what the most viable options for that are. The third Chico City Council seat is still up in the air. Candidate Scott Huber is in third with 11,521 votes and incumbent Andrew Coolidge is in fourth with 11,380 votes. Coming up at 6 p.m., we'll hear from Reynolds and Brown on what their stance is on cannabis. Laura Ang, Action News Now.